I jumped in, trying to pull the door the first time, it didn't open. I pulled the door the second time, it didn't open. So I'm now I'm looking for Dylan, couldn't find him, until he stopped punging on the back glass. Hi, my name is Ken Burnett. I'm 18 years old. I go to Charlotte, Somalia. I was born and raised in St. Thomas, but... Uh... My name is Dylan Hodge. I'm 18 years old. I live in St. Thomas and I go to Charlotte, Somalia High School. So me and Dylan was at Mr. CHS, and the boys sit us up and say, let's go out. So we were like, okay, why not? So when we left, we went down to Zanzi's. You know what I'm saying? We're chilling, vibing, talking to girls, whatever the case was. And then we started to see it's getting a little too late. So now we had heading home, coming down waterfront, having a nice time. And then out of nowhere, we just see this car went in water. Douche. I was like, whoa. Bro, we go help them. He like, all right, no problem. Boom. So we both ran out the car as fast as we can. Then when we went in, he done halfway done already in the water. So now, I'm, while I'm taking off my clothes, I'm watching him. So now he gone in the car trying to get the guys out. When I went in the car, the car door had closed on me. So after I got the two people out of the seatbelts, um, the car door was shut and I couldn't get it open. The guys were still stuck in the seatbelt, the passenger guy. So when he got him unlocked, the door closed right behind him. I said, damn, boom. So I jumped in, trying to pull the door the first time. It didn't open. Pull the door the second time. It didn't open. Pull the door the third time. I got it. I stick my hand in and pull the first guy out. Stick my hand in again, pull the next guy out. So now, now I'm looking for Dylan. Couldn't find him. When the water was rising, all three of us were in the back of the car um, collecting air until the car had eventually submerged and we, were, we, were, we had no more air. The car was full of water. And I intake, I swallowed the water, I inhaled the water twice. And when I seen, I said, okay, I have to put my whole body in. So I put my whole body in and I grabbed him. She followed my hand out and then when he got out, we started swimming back to the shore, but one of the guys couldn't swim. So at the moment, another guy on the shore jumped from the dock, jumped in. When he jumped in, he helped us out. I saw Kaelin's hand waving out the door. So he did open the door. And if he didn't, I probably would have drowned that night. Even if we didn't get the time to take the guys out, just the fact that I tried, like I, I would have tried to do it for somebody, I feel that's why I really kind of did it. My cousin had recently passed away to a similar accident. His car went in the water and he had ended up drowning. He was on life support and then he eventually did pass away. So for me, seeing that someone, another car going in the water, all I could think about is that I have to save them. I can't let that happen to somebody's family again. When I had helped them out the sea belts and I had looked back and I saw the door was closed, my heart did drop a little bit because when I pushed open the door, they didn't open. So I was like, are these my final moments? And then I saw you jump into the water. And then I was like, he's going to help me the best he can. I, I got to save you in a moment at this situation and stuff. It really, it really shows that me that I really meant something to anybody and to you as a friend. And I hope our bond go longer than even this. If you understand where I'm coming from. Yeah. Yeah. Dog, no, I see you don't care for me, dog.